Betty, the big unknown in all of this is how coronavirus reacts to treatments that have worked in fighting other viruses. For instance, convalescent plasma, we'll explain, given by COVID-19 survivors might help those who are still fighting the disease. So to see if that might be effective, a first of its kind transfusion took place at UCSF and Kenny Choi has the story. The hour long procedure happened at UCSF Medical Center late last night. We do not know the condition of the patient tonight, but it's what this transfusion could do in the future that has some doctors very hopeful in the fight against COVID-19. The transfer of covalescent plasma from a person who has recovered from a disease to a patient battling it has been done before. What's the significance of this? Because we really want to understand whether or not this actually works. We think it might based on other diseases, but COVID-19 is COVID-19. Uh, we need to know if it works because if it does, then there'll be more enthusiasm for using it as standard therapies. Plasma is the liquid part of your blood containing antibodies, which help fight an infectious disease. Transfusing it to sick patients has its history of success and failure. Well, there was some evidence that it was a benefit for the uh, SARS epidemic uh, in the early part of the 2000s, and there may have been some benefit also for the swine flu, also known as H1M1, but it did not see to, seem to be effective in treatment of Ebola disease. Dr. Chin Hong and a team of doctors say that there was no matching plasma at the Red Cross or local blood banks until Stanford University Medical Center heard of the need and offered its one unit of matching plasma. It was just like a match.com for convalescent plasma, and then the magic happened. For, for these transfusions to happen, under what conditions are they done? I think we're going to first start with the uh, folks who are doing really badly uh, in general. I mean, so the sickest patients. So those are people in the ICU or ventilated. UCSF Medical Center has seen an estimated 60 patients with 23 transferred into the ICU since the pandemic ignited. One person has died due to COVID-19. If those numbers were to skyrocket, one issue could be the low supply of convalescent plasma at blood banks. We're even more excited that people are so generous to want to donate themselves and, and to help loved ones or other individuals whom they may not even know. If you'd like to help and donate, you could contact the Red Cross or any local health care institution that is collecting COVID-19 plasma donations. In San Francisco, Kenny Choi, KPIX5.